Alright guys, so what we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be measuring the personal frequency of this speaker. So to measure that is you need to turn on your meter. So let me put on the light. So it's right there. And then we're gonna be setting this to C. So because it's a sub, so I'm gonna be check. I'm gonna be um, measuring it at this at its C way thing. So as you can see that. Like we're seeing that, but but this is you waiting. And then the, th the the thing you should do is you're gonna be putting it here, so never change its never change its distance. Then you just get on your phone, and then you open the signal your signal generator app. So let me get onto my signal generator app all right so here goes so you're gonna be maximizing the volume i'm just kidding but we're gonna be using that as a reference volume the maximum volume. so let's start from 20 hertz how much decibels do we get should not be moving so it's just it's not so it's just a little movement, there's really no changes at all. So 20 hertz is nothing. So let's change it to about 30. 38. Is there any? So there is, but the vibration is not good enough. Then we'll do about 50. I don't really know why there's no movement. Yeah, I'm going to make it on. There's really no 100. I don't really know why this is not that loud. Like when you... Okay. Okay, so my bad. So let's do this again. Here is here is some 55 hertz dust tone. But wait, before that, let's start from 30. So we get about so we get about um get about seven six db seven six db on thirty hertz that's what we get on thirty hertz series so the next thing would be 40. Alright, so get some more excursion. So the next the next would be so you see this. So the next one should be um, 50 hertz. Eighty-nine point seven, eighty-nine point eight. Then let's try sixty hertz. How much dB do we get? Let's try about sixty hertz. Sixty hertz. Let's see. Get about ninety-four point five dB. Then, 
we're gonna be climbing up to 80 hertz. We're gonna be climbing up to 80 hertz. Now we're gonna be checking about 200. Well, that's a mid base frequency now. The 200 hertz is about how many is that? So what? 101.4 dB. So that's the that's how you check your SPL on different frequencies to know the resonant frequency. So when we're checking out about our chart over here, so you can see we have a frequency of 30 hertz, 40 hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, and then those are the various decibels that we get from our meter. So we have 76 dB on 30 hertz, 40 hertz, we have 85.5 decibels. On 50, we have 89.8 dB. On 60, we get 94.5 decibels. On 70 hertz, we have 95.5 dB. On 80 hertz, it's just the same, just a little bit of 95.5 dB too. And on 90, we just get a 1 dB, 96 decibels. And on 100 hertz, we get 96.5 decibels. And in 100 and 200 hertz, we get 101.4 dB. What if we increase the frequency? Do we get um, a higher, a higher amount of SPL? We'll see about 300. But let's start in a volume. Well, that's, that's already a mid frequency. It's not a sub. It's not a sub anymore. I think this speaker is good for mid frequency. It's also good in producing some mid-range frequencies like 100 hertz well that's good if it's for mid I would definitely use this for mid if it's a really good deal thank you guys for watching that's how you check on your subwoofer so let's just try first the 10 hertz let's see how this thing moves It's about it's about twenty. It's how it moves in twenty hertz. About thirty. It moves like a sub, a real sub, when you set on your 20. It's a really good kind of speaker. It's a, only a 5.3 inch, if I'm by 25. Don't really know. But it's a really good deal. If you want this kind of things. And I have no EQ. I didn't apply any equalizer on this part. So that I'm not really not cheating. Thank you guys for watching.